Governor Greg Abbott is responding to legal threats from President Joe Biden's administration over the state's disaster declaration at the Mexican border. KXAN's Wes Rappaport has the latest on the border beef. Texas Governor Greg Abbott continues to push back against President Joe Biden's border policies. If the federal government has created a problem on the border that leads to migrant children being in the state, it's the federal government's responsibility to take care of those kids. He's talking about kids in federal custody who are sheltered at state licensed child care facilities. As part of his 34 county disaster declaration, Abbott calls on the Texas Health and Human Services Commission to end licenses for child care facilities involved in federal contracts to shelter or detain undocumented migrants. We spoke about it in an interview last week. The federal government has co opted the state government to be involved in that licensing process, which is commandeering uh, state employees, uh, which is a violation of the United States Constitution. That caught the attention of the federal government. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services wrote to state leaders asking for an exception for the Office of Refugee Resettlement's network of 52 provider facilities in the state. Health and Human Services threatened legal action to ensure the safety and well-being of the kids in custody. Abbott says the Biden administration is pressuring Texas to participate in what he calls an illegal immigration program. We're saying that the federal government cannot commandeer our employees and tell us what to do. The feds asked for confirmation from Abbott by Thursday on whether he'll carve that provision out of his order. Wes Rappaport, KXAN News. The governor is hosting a border security summit tomorrow in Del Rio. Law enforcement and landowners from border regions are expected to be there to participate alongside elected officials and state agency heads to brainstorm border security strategy.